What's up everyone? We're gonna start with a falling mill 5060 barless hook. We're gonna dress that hook with some black thread. Then we will add our body material, which is Alwood's Atomic Glow. You wanna tie it so the glow side will be facing up when you wrap. It'll be easier to color. Then we'll add our ostrich hurl in gray. Once we're happy with it, we'll go back up the shank with the hurl. Slow touching wraps. And we will go a little past the point of the hook. Once you're happy with it, go back up the shank with that body material. Before you wrap, bring back some of the hurl. Each wrap. Just take your time with it. Once you're happy with it, tie off your body material. And snip off your tag end. Now we're gonna color it. I like to color it first with Copic. It's a brown color called Toast. I just do a light color job. And then I go with the green on top. And that's a uh, grass green. I'll then add the butt ends of some black pheasant tail fibers and create a nice head. Then I'll add some black hare's ears dubbing. Once I'm happy with it, I'll preen back the uh, pheasant tail fibers over the top of the thorax. And I'll snip off the tag end. I will just put some UV cure over those pheasant tail fibers just for durability and more bug like. Next I'll add the antenna of a single strand of some pheasant tail. And I'll do each side of the thorax. And they'll be as long as the body. Once I'm happy with it. I'll whip finish. Then I'll take a dubbing brush and preen out the bottom part of that thorax. Then I'll add some UV resin to the thread wraps. I'll cure it. And there you have, you have a semi-realistic caddis. Thanks for watching.